Water in Israel, as in the entire Middle East, is a scarce resource. We already consume more than God provides us with, more than nature gives us. In the Zuckerberg Institute for Water Research, we accommodate all these disciplines in order to be able to come up with what's necessary to produce not just enough water, but adequate quality of water. In arid and semi-arid areas, grey water are becoming a very important source for yard irrigation in private homes. Grey water are all the water in the house except the water coming from the toilet and from the kitchen. This composes a lot of water that can be used. If we can use the grey water for yard irrigation, that would be a tremendous save. The problem with grey water is their origin. So they're coming from your home, so you're using chemicals and with pathogens that are associated with humans and we're trying to see whether grey water can pose a health hazard when you're using it for yard irrigation. In Israel, for instance, it is not allowed to use grey water. So if you want to legislate it, you have to prove this not pose a health hazard. So what, that's what we're trying to do. If we can establish that grey water are not a health hazard, then they could be a very important mean for water conservation throughout the world for private homes. We managed to bridge between what is available and the demand by producing water. We close the gap by treating water and coming up with new water based on innovations, findings, and advanced water technologies. In our research, we try to improve the lifetime of reverse osmosis membranes. How do we do that? By looking better operational conditions. We are looking for better cleaning agents and by modifying the membrane surface with this gel nanopolymeric layer for reducing biofilm formation. This nanopolymeric layer is able to reduce biofilm formation on the membrane, but still retain the performance of the reverse osmosis membrane. Furthermore, this layer is extending the life cycle of the membrane, making the water cost most likely lower and increase the accessibility of uh, clean water to the population. This technology also leads us to improve water filtration membranes by 180%, which uh, we are now uh, applying for intellectual property, which can be used in the future. The Institute accommodates not just an Israeli scientist and graduate students, but also students coming from all over the world. In addition, we opened ourselves toward the industrial world. We accommodate together water sciences with water engineering. With that, we became attractive to the water industry. Billions of dollars are being invested to understand the processes that are controlling climate change, global warming, and to better predict what will be in the future. And what we are doing is we are providing tools for much more realistic prediction in large sections of our world. In addition to discussions on the theoretical stuff, we are traveling to Africa, going to a rural village, basically out of nowhere, without any running water, without any sanitation and so on. And we are trying to help them to do different water-related things, such as drilling wells, developing rainwater catchment systems. Also, we are trying to do some educational activity to teach the kids about sanitation, about the importance of clean water. It's very, very important for the students because it's helped them to understand what is going on with more than 2.5 billion people around the world. It's a great combination of cutting edge science and assistance to other people in general and developing countries in particular. And I feel lucky to be a faculty member here at the Zuckerberg Institute for Water Research. Regarding the future, we must come up with additional novel innovations that will lead to more advanced water technologies that we shall be able to create affordable amount of water with adequate water quality. All major water resources in Israel and in the Middle East are cross-border water resources. We have to share what we have and we shall have to share what we don't have, the future water that we shall produce.